Alright guys, this is my FE595 keypad lock. It is currently locked and I'm going to show you guys how to do some programming. So, to put the lock in programming, uh, programming mode, you need a programming code. It's normally six digits long. So we're going to enter, I set it up to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to enter that on the keypad. The strike button is going to turn orange and you'll hear three beeps. Press it and then we're going to add a user code. Press it and press one. Now enter the new code you would like to add. We'll make it, um, we'll go 9999. The lock is locked. I enter it, and there, I can get in with that user code. To delete a user code, enter the six digit programming code. Press the two key. Enter the code you want to delete. After, con you will always have to type the code in, and then after you hear three beeps and the shake button blinks three more times, you're going to want to enter that again. And now when I attempt to enter it, no entry. See? You can get in. To change the programming code, enter your six-digit programming code. When the shrug button turns orange, press it and then press the three key. Enter your new six digit programming code. We're gonna make it zero 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 six zeros. If any programming failed, we would get a red light. But now this will be the new code. See I type one, two, three, four, it's not gonna let me in. To enable vacation mode, making meaning no codes will work, press the shrug button. Press 4 after entering your programming code. We will not get in the... No entry. To enable user codes, enter 6 digit programming code, and now we can... Uh, it's, now, it's not going to go green then red. Green then red means it's in vacation mode. Let's uh, turn the sound on and off. We can do that. Whoops, I forgot. Press the strike button, press the 5 key. The sound is now off. No beeps. It will beep when the battery is low for safety reasons. Just fix this. Okay, there we go. Um, to turn the sound back on, just repeat the steps. Turn it back on. Sound's back on. To delete all user codes on the lock, press the strike button after entering your 6 digit programming code. Press the 6 key. Re enter your programming code. There are no more codes on this lock. You must now add codes. Keypad Deadbolt also has the 7 option for lock and leave. This is a keypad handle. Obviously, you can see that. So, we do not need to... Uh, it, it won't work, see? Any other button? See, watch. There's... Any button pressed before you press the shake button will immediately exit programming mode. You must press the shake button first. Any any other button, if you press the shake button, 7, 8, 9, or 0, now you will exit programming mode. And that is it. I'm programming, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Operating your FE595 keypad lock. Operating is very simple. To open the lock, enter a valid user code. Door opens up. Door locks after five seconds. I can't get in. To, uh, if the lighting is low outside and it's dark, press the swipe button. The keypad will light up. For a few seconds. When you go, when you see the green light, enter your home, close the door behind you, and you will know. You can pull down the handle. For your safety and convenience, the door handle on the inside will always remain unlocked. Always. If the battery has died on this, you can you have the option of using a key. Or you can use a key in general if you want. Take the key, insert it, turn it up, it opens, it unlocks the handle, allowing me to get in, see, allows me to go in, turn the key back, close the door, we'll operate it as if we're going inside. The door locks it when you turn the key back, doors like this now. To put the lock, 
only this is only this feature I'm about to talk about is only available on the FE575 model. I'm sorry, FE595 model. It's not available on the FE575 model. To unlock the to allow the handle to be unlocked on the outside without having a key or a code, turn the knob to passage mode. Turning it vertical allows you to unlock the handle, meaning the handle will stay unlocked on both sides. Yep. When you are done, turn the knob back. Turn the knob back, and that's pretty much it.